Hey guys, uh, this is Dark Knight 237, and this is going to be a review on Falconfly, the new Bakugan trap um, that I got a couple days ago, the or Sunday, the Sunday after Christmas, uh, at my dad's house, um, and my baby brother Jack had picked it out. As well as Scorpion, Subterra, not not important though. Uh, but here he is. He is in Ventus. Just gonna do a little outside overview. And then back to the front. And the top, it's got like the jig jags on it. And the bottom's just kind of plain. So here we go. I'm gonna open them up. Just like that. Very, very cool Bakugan. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, this is by far my favorite. Um, I, I mean, I don't have very many traps, but out of the traps that I do have, yeah, it's my favorite. And second favorite is probably Scorpion, and then maybe High Lash, or my Deca Tripod Eclipsen, or whatever. But yeah, I like that. It is pretty big. Okay. And there is a little pull-out thing on Falconfly. These things right here, his little claws, you can pull out, and then you fold under him, and then he's got like feet. Here, right there. And sometimes I just leave him out like that, but I like him better way down here. Um, very very detailed. If you look at the wings, you can see they actually look like wings because it's got that. They've got like the little indents and stuff in them. Uh, very cool. And just the inside body parts has pretty nice detail all in there. And the tail, I like that little silver, little silver on the end. It's pretty nice. And he is a really big trap too. Like he opens up pretty big. He covers an entire card. Just from head to tail, from head, from head to where the tail starts, he covers an entire card. Um, another long one I have. Let's see. That guy is kind of long. Spit arm. It's only his tail though that makes him long. Falcon fly is just everything that makes him long. But, uh, I'm gonna show you how to close him. Oh, and if you didn't see the spit arm next to it, that's a comparison. Okay, so to close him, you're gonna put, push in his little feet, right up there. And then his tail, you're gonna fold in and bring up the head and the tail and then fold the head in. Like that. And then the wings, they have, the wings are two little parts. So fold this back, hold it, and then close it. And push that piece onto the top. And then do the same with the other side. And then you're gonna kinda pull back on this one a little bit, flatten it out, and then lock them together. And it stays. So there you go. Uh, yeah, by far my favorite. So, you know, leave comments and all that other stuff. Uh, and really quickly, uh, before I got a scorpion, I was wondering how to close it. So, here, I'll do a quick thing on that. These two outer claws, you're going to push them in like that. Right, first, push the tail down, hold it. Then bring this in, bring one side all the way in. And you're going to do that by pushing this forward once and twice and push that in 
and do the same with the other side. In once, twice, push in. And they, fi I figured out why they call him Coin Scorpion. It's because it's like a coin. You can flip him. I like to flip him. It's fun. Uh, so thanks for watching. Bye.